Hi everyone and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about STEM education. In education you get a lot of buzzwords. You get a lot of different ideas that are fleeting and passing through. STEM is not one of them. It's been around for several years now and it is here to stay. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Sometimes you hear it referred to as STEAM, but they are the same things. It's also something that you typically think about with older children in older grades, where they're working on their computer and they're using tools and all different things. It can be applied to any age. The main thing with preschool age is keep it simple. Raid your recycling bin, go to the dollar store to get some supplies, and let your child lead the way. I am going to include on the Facebook post a list of different materials that you can use and ideas of things you can do with them, but it's just a starting point. Take a look at that list of materials and think of whatever else you can add to it and then the ideas and add as many as you can. And again, let your child be the guide. Sometimes you just take some of those materials, put them on a tray, put them down and let the child kind of lead the way and to see what they can create out of it. Now, one of my favorite things to connect STEM to is literature. There are so many amazing kid books that you don't even think about as falling into the STEM category, but they do. Simple little things, chicka chicka boom boom, with all those letters piling on the tree. Toilet paper roll, popsicle sticks, make the tree. If you have foam letters, magnetic letters, let your child start piling them on. How long does the tree last before everything comes crashing down? Five little pumpkins that we're doing this week. Can they make a gate? If you happen to have little pumpkins for Halloween around, can they make something that those pumpkins will actually sit on without falling down? Humpty Dumpty, can they make Humpty's wall? Can they get them to sit up there? Rapunzel, can they make Rapunzel's tower? The Three Little Pigs is a wonderful one. They can try to make the different houses, then after they've made them, they can test them out. That's where it really gets fun. They can blow on them, see if they stay. They can use a straw, maybe a blow dryer, and see if they can get their houses to stay up. Again, literature is such a great way to connect preschoolers with the science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, one other thing you can do with them as they get a little bit older and progress, draw a blueprint. Give them some paper, some markers, and say, all right, so you want to make this house. What's your plan? What do you want it to look like? And let them kind of sketch it out a little bit and get that idea. And then when they're done, maybe they can journal about it. They can write, they can dictate to you what it was that they did and how they created it. And then if they'd like to draw a picture of it at the end, they could do that as well. The main things again are keep it simple. It's not meant to be something that adds a lot of expense for you or anything else. Again, raid your recycling bin, look in your kitchen. Right now, you could use cranberries as the holidays approach. What can they use with cranberries to make cranberry structures and different things? How about gumdrops when Christmas gets closer? Marshmallows is always a good thing because you can stick a toothpick in there. Just find different things around your house and let your child lead again. I hope this was kind of a helpful idea for you to get your child building and creating and get those problem solving skills working in their heads. Thanks for listening. And again, go out, feel free to subscribe to the channel and that will let you know when videos pop up and you can find more parent tips and different videos for the kids on there.